Hey guys, uh, today uh, we shall discuss about uh, file module in Mule 4. Okay, so we have separate module for file. Okay, so you can get it from the exchange or if you have already added into the modules, you can click on add modules and drag you can add to the project okay from this menu okay now i have created one flow uh, where i have uh, kept few or most of the file operations other than this on new or updated file so which i'll be explaining in my next session okay so other than this i have covered almost all the other uh, options that are available in the file module okay so this is the HTTP listener configured on 8081 port and the path is file operations and what I did here I'm capturing the employee ID uh, into a variable called as employee ID so this way I'll be sending an a payload okay in the JSON format okay so which, which has employee ID occupation and city okay and after that I'm printing the the payload as is now what I'm doing I have configured a key value pair here uh, where uh, key is employee info and the value is a combination of uh, or the concatenation of employee ID and, the, and his occupation okay and I'm writing it, in, in, it into a directory after transforming the file okay and I'm printing the same thing so we'll see what was written into this uh, into this file okay and here I'm just reading the, the file which I have written uh, in this file okay so I'm just printing the same thing here whatever I have read now I'm copying the file which I have written in the right file okay and copying it to a folder called as copy file this way like this okay now but this time I am changing the extension so previously I was writing uh, with dot JSON extension now uh, so I was reading the same thing that is dot JSON extension with, with the a file with dot JSON extension and after that I am copying the same thing but when I when I am copying it into a folder I am uh, I have uh, changed the extension to .txt and also I have changed the file name okay now so till here we have seen like write read and copy okay now here I have configured file move so what it does it it moves file from one path to another path okay it is just like cut and paste something like that okay so copy is something like copy paste so copying from one folder to uh, pasting into another folder and this move is something like cut and paste okay now so I am moving uh, the file from a copy file okay which is nothing but a folder here and I am moving it to move file folder you see here so these three I have created one is to write the file that is this uh, so in uh, within this thing I have used write file and I'm just reading it from this write file okay I'm just printing it okay and after that I'm I'm copying it from write file to copy file so from this to this okay and what I'm doing I am moving the file from copy file to move file okay and after that what I'm doing I'm deleting the file okay so I am deleting the file which I moved to move file okay so moving in this so move file in the sense it has cut the file uh, which is inside the copy file folder and it has moved to move file right now I am deleting it from he from this folder okay and after that I am just creating the directory just to show you how to create a directory okay by using this file uh, module and after that what I am doing I am listing the files that are there in the right directory I mean right file folder okay so this is the the flow I have created in order to show the flow operations uh, file operations. sorry now let us see uh, 
uh, it practically or uh, as a demo okay so now let me run this whole thing in a debug mode so that uh, you'll understand it very clearly so you see here um, yeah so there was some slight difference right uh, if you see here the source path is it is in the string format and target part path is uh, in the normal format something like it's it's a path actually okay so you see i have put slashes in a vice versa man in a like opposite manner so when i copy the path it is copying this way but when you keep the same thing inside a string then you have to put the backslashes instead of forward slash okay so that is what you have to remember and one more thing before you write it into a file or read from a file always you have to put slash here if not uh, it will it cannot read or it cannot write okay so slash is very important so you should not miss that actually okay and yeah one more thing here you see you could see something like rename to right so this is the optional thing okay so if you configure something here it will it will copy or it will move even in in the move uh, file configuration we have something like rename to but if you configure something it will rename uh, to the new uh, name what you configured if not it will copy paste or it will move or copy with the old file name only okay so that's why i have i have configured here and i have i didn't configure anything here just to uh, make you understand that okay uh, fine now let me so it got deployed clear this now let me send this file okay so i'll start with the, this with uh, employee ideas emp 12345 so let me click on send so this is running in the debug mode okay so if i click this uh, this way now you see so what happened here logger is there okay i'm just printing the payload as is right Bef before this i'm capturing the employee id okay now i'm printing the payload what i'm sending along with my uh, http request okay now, so that is the reason you could see the original payload here itself so after that i'm transforming okay this way with the employee info as uh, like this as we already discussed so now click on next next processor okay so that means the file got written okay so leave about these two yeah now you see here uh, with the same employee id uh, the file was written right so here when i was writing the f uh, one moment okay let me maximize this so when i was writing the file into this uh, into the folder okay i am using the employee id okay and the extension is dot json okay so that is the reason you could see um, a file got created with employee id dot json so if i open this thing you'll see how i have converted so what i did here in the transform sorry here so i i'm concatenating employee id and the occupation okay so that is what you could see here and it was written into the file with the uh, employee id dot json okay i'm closing here this now go to console so what i'm doing i'm printing that thing okay the same thing the payload so click on next okay so you could see the same thing right now click on next so here i'm i'm not doing anything whatever i have write, uh, written into this write file folder i'm just reading it okay nothing i'm doing so click on next so as i'm logging the same thing you'll see this same thing in the third logger okay now uh, till here it is fine now i'm clicking on next so what I'm doing, I'm copying from the right file folder to, uh, let me maximize this. So you see here, I'm copying it from the right file folder 
okay with the same extension dot json to copy file folder with different uh, name and a different extension okay so now you see let me click on next one moment yeah click on next okay now you will see that see uh, it uh, now it is 226 it is 224 yeah fine so um, yes so this file got copied to um, sorry one moment target is copy file yeah fine so it seems like it it has already copied because we were in the debug mode uh, that is the delay now let me click on next so what we have next uh, let me uh, yeah this is the uh, what is this design mode right yeah now if if what I am doing here here I am moving that file from copy folder to move folder right so now let me go to debug mode yeah so so it is in the copy file folder right now if I click the next processor it should be deleted from this folder and it should be moved to move file right so there is nothing in this move file okay so if I click on next here it should be removed from this okay let me click on next yeah see it got it was moved actually from copy file folder to move file folder okay yeah now okay it seems like we are copying right so the date modified everything is getting copied yeah now what I'm doing I'm deleting this file okay let me maximize this so you see the configuration I'm deleting the file which is there in the move file directory okay now minimize this so one moment yeah if I click next processor it is deleting the file in the move file okay so clicking on next yeah so the file got deleted okay now you see here I am here create I have configured create directory right so if I click next it creates a directory yeah see okay so I have put a timestamp there now I am clicking on next processor so what I am doing here I am listing out the files that are there in the right folder so we have only one file right okay so you see if I maximize this and show you the configuration I am listing sorry I have to click yeah so you see here I am listing the uh, files that are there inside the right file okay now yeah so click on next processor okay and click on next I'm just setting the payload I'm converting it to JSON and I'm just printing it and also the same payload will be sent as a response uh, to the postman okay now you see it took something like six minutes uh, uh, so uh, we debugged right so that's why it has taken this much of time now you see here this is the uh, JSON payload that we are getting uh, as a result from that list operation right now you see here we have payload here whatever uh, we have converted the payload right so that is what we could see here right with the employee uh, ID and the it and his his occupation okay now what I'll do uh, I'll try to uh, run this in the normal run mode okay not in the debug mode in the run mode okay so this time we'll directly send one more uh, input and see what happens yeah it got deployed now I'm minimizing this so I'm sending one more payload okay with employee ID 
one two one two three four six okay now let me uh, configure it as mule developer simply and I'll put it as Bangalore okay this doesn't make any difference okay now click on send okay so you see here previously when we so the last operation is, operation is list operation right so that is the reason <clears throat> in the right file you could see only um, one file right previously now this time we have two files that is a reason uh, you could see uh, the list operation response as with uh, two files so one is uh, from the previous file that is employee one two three four five mules of developer the other is the one we just processed or we just have sent as a request okay so what does list will do so it will it will list the files that are there in the directory okay now you see so we are getting a lot of things right attributes payload something like inbound attachments etc etc right so so from this thing how you would how you would like to process this it is up to you but we can make use of for each okay so if I copy this thing and put it in the uh, this bwlang.fun so it's up to you like how you would like to extract that okay for example I am extracting the payload so we'll get uh, an array right obviously this is an array right so we will be getting the, the output as array only but we are extracting a payload thing from the from this um, list information so you could see two payloads here one is uh, I mean this is one payload but we extracted two payloads from the list operation okay so that is this one and the second one is this so this you can send as input to for each or something like that so it is up to your requirement okay so this list will always does something like um, uh, it it lists the um, file information from within a uh, from a folder okay and um, I hope uh, this you understood and before we close this we can uh, we can observe that see here previously uh, one two three four five dot JSON got created and this time it is like one two three four six uh, dot JSON got created if I open this you could see the change previously it is mule soft developer and th now this is mule developer as we have changed the input request go back now uh, you will not find anything here because I am copying moving and deleting and then listing the files in the right file so we will see uh, the list uh, output uh, or whatever list operation is listing that is from this right file folder okay so I will be explaining on the on your update file uh, in the in my next session but I hope this you understood something out of this okay so yeah that's it maybe you can replicate the same thing if you would like to practice on the same okay and uh, in parallel make use of this DW uh, lang dot fun so that it makes easy uh, for you when you practice it okay and I hope you understood uh, something out of this and thank you very much uh, listening to my video thank you